Chair recognizes the gentleman from Perry 84 for an explanation of the bill and a motion thereon. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, in 2017, I was introduced to Mr. Josh Coldiron of the Appalachian Challenge Academy in Harlan. And I first learned of the Kentucky Youth Challenge Academy through the National Guard uh, in 2017, not knowing uh, exactly what it was. I learned that this Challenge Academy, along with Bluegrass Challenge Academy in um, Fort Knox area, is an evidence-based second chance program for students who are failing to progress in traditional school settings and for struggling students who demonstrate a desire to change. Uh, this Challenge Academy is for students, um, ladies and men, between the age of 15 and a half and 18 uh, years old. This program is designed to improve life skills, employment potential, and provide a military-based training and supervised work experience. Together with core program components of existing participants to receive a high school diploma or its equivalent, leadership development, excuse me, promoting fellowship and community service, developing life coping skills and job skills, and improving physical fitness, health, and hygiene. This program is funded through the Department of Defense DOD uh, with the funding of $2.2 million from uh, military affairs and $750,000 from general fund dollars. That's the way it's been uh, since its inception. Uh, it was started in 1993 in Kentucky with the Bluegrass Challenge Academy in Fort Knox and in 1999 the Appalachian Challenge Academy in Harlan uh, with more than 5,400 graduates. Uh, again, the mission of the Kentucky Youth Challenge Program is to intervene in and reclaim the lives of at-risk teenagers between 15 and a half and 18 years old. The original program was focused on the GED, uh, but since has began migrating to credit recovery in 2012 and finally implemented exclusive credit recovery in 2016 uh, prior to implementation of the Graduate Kentucky Mandatory Attendance. House Bill 244 focuses on the academic excellent compo component by ensuring that these young men and women uh, are on individual lesson plans addressing their requirements to get them caught up academically and return to their parent schools with the necessary skills, traits, and resiliency to stay the course to graduate and succeed as young adults. Through this legislation, academic excellence will be provided by a contracted school district uh, to provide these services in accordance with KDE, KRS, and federal code. Uh, this ensures that cadets who attend the Youth Challenge Academy receive the same level of educational excellence that they would in any other Commonwealth of Kentucky public school. If there's no questions, I move passage of House Bill 244.